Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Clara. Today we will talk the layer parameters. Click a layer over here. We can get the prompt box layer parameter setting. In part feature, we can find the basic information of the current file, which is recognized by the machine automatically. Its size and suggestive center tab. In layer one, we can read file, which will help us to import the external parameter library. If we choose yes, all parameters will be covered by the external data. Save to file. Enables us to save the current parameters to a file. Cover cut is the function when we need to cut some tube with field covered. Take it. We can get a separated window to set the parameters for cutting film. The parameters here we need to set based on the actual film thickness and film layers. This option. We can choose to copy parameters from current different layers. Now we have two layers. We can copy the parameters set in layer two. Keep poofing will keep the gas blowing. Cut and peel setting parts is almost the same as what shows in SafeCut, but we'll repeat them again, so you do not need to go back the SafeCut series. Under the cut, cut speed is for setting actual cutting speed. There are acceleration and deceleration at the first and last section as well as the corners. So the actual cutting speed is often less than the speed and not in the uniform speed. Lift head is the head we need to lift after the cutting head finishes a graphic. And it will keep the height until it's going to cut the next graphic. Nozzle head is the distance between the lower surface of the nozzle and the surface of the metal plate when the machine is cutting. Cut gas will allow us to choose the gas taps. If there is a proportional valve for the gas, we can set the gas pressure here. Peak power, duty cycle, pulse frequency. I will explain them by graphic. The three parameters will influence the laser power. Peak power represents the immediate laser power. Like our machine is one thousand watt. If we set the peak power to one hundred, the power of immediate laser will be one thousand watt. We can take the rectangle as the peak power and imagine it. Is countable. Duty cycle tell us how many peak power will display in a period. If we set the duty cycle to fifty, it says there will be half peak power covering the period. Let's see the graphic. There will be half rectangles, which the laser power is one hundred percent emitted, and half amped distance, which there is no laser emission. Pulse frequency will tell us how many such this curve will display in a period. If we set it one thousand, there will be one thousand such curves in one second. We can get an average laser beam power by the parameters: its laser power by peak power by duty cycle. If our machine is one thousand watt, based on the parameters, the average laser beam power is one thousand by one by zero point five. It should be five hundred watt. If we configure with the cutting head, which can change the beam width, we can set it here beam width. Focus position is the focus we set while cutting. 
Laser off delay is mainly applied when the servo motors cannot offer simultaneous feedbacks as the motion. It will ensure the cutting completed. Low pass filter. We introduced it in global parameters. It size the 5HZ as default. The better the mechanical behavior, the faster the acceleration could be, and the higher the filter value we can set. If we take low pass filter here, we can set it separately. But if we don't take it, the layer will apply the value we set in global parameters. Here, the slow lead and slow stop enable to set the distance and speed for the cutting start and the cutting stop, and the advanced power setting for the distance. When we are going to cut some corners, the cutting speed will get slower. If we keep the same power and a slow speed to cut the corners, probably corners will get burned. So here we can apply the power curve here. It will help us to set a suitable power for slow cutting speed, which will be helpful in cutting corners. If we take power curve and frequency curve, The duty cycle and the pulse frequency will get changed as the speed in the cutting process. We can click Edit to adjust the power and frequency curve. We can see from the chart the abscissa is the cutting speed. The ordinate is the power percentage or frequency percentage. It's a little complicated to just introduce it. I will take an example here. Let's add two sides of data here. First, we make speed to ten and power to twenty. Second, let's put speed to ninety, power to one hundred. A curve is shown here. Let's imagine the cutting speed gets to forty percent. We can see the power will be around fifty percent. The power declines as the cutting speed gets lower. Let's start from the peers. Here we can choose no peers, one stage, two stage, and three stage based on the mental thickness. Normally, the three stage will be applied when we try to cut maximum thickness, like one thousand watt for ten millimeter carbon steel, three thousand watt for twenty meter carbon steel. Let's explain the peers by taking three stage. We can see the parameters are almost the same as the cat. The differences are the step time and the laser off blow. Let's choose the step time and the laser off blow for all stages. I made a picture here to assist my introduction. From the three stage, when the cutting head follows to the pierce height, which is fifteen millimeter here. It will stop and stay here for 200 ms and begin to emit laser beam and blow gas to make the perforation based on the parameters set here. Then the cutting head will go to the pierce height of two stage, which is five millimeter here. The running time of the distance is 1000 ms, which is called step time here. When the cutting head arrives at pierce height of two stage, it will perform the extra blow of three stage, stop and stay here for 500 ms while laser off and gas on. After the laser off blow, it will repeat the steps at the three stage and the same for one stage. The machine will start cut. Following graphics, after all pier stages we said have finished. Pre piers here. If we need process quantity cuts, we can tick it. The machine will do all piers first and then process cutting. If you need no more on piers, please click the video up here. Corner here. If we take enable corner technique, it will make a better cutting in tube corners. Follow head offset. We need to set the value here based on the actual cut. The actual following head should be the sum of the following head and following head offset. Duty cycle. We can reduce the value slightly to avoid the possible overburning at corners.
define corner. The default value is one point one four six right per millimeter. That is when the machine moves one millimeter at x axis and the b axis rotates one point one four six right. The software will recognize it. It is in corners. Limit b axis speed. When cutting tubes, the speed of b axis will commonly affect the cutting quality. So, if we use the separated speed of b axis, it will enhance the cutting result, but no effect on the whole process efficiency. I'm Clara. Actually, I don't know what we should introduce next Friday. Let me see what left of the Tube Pro system. May or may not see next Friday. Bye.